Hello, hello, and today we are going to look at a new emulator that I've been using for a while now. It's been uh, just over a week, and the name is Mumu, as you can see here. Uh, it's a Chinese one. It's not new, but it's uh, new to me. Um, before going further, um, it does still crash, so it's not like the answer to all the emulator issues. Uh, it really depends on people's own computers and stuff. It's very different results I've seen. Some stuff works for some people, other things works for others. Uh, I do still crash. Uh, no fatal crashes as I call them though, meaning that it, it has not crashed while I've been in the middle of something. For example, in the middle of an arena game or stuff like that, but it has crashed on other occasions, for example in uh, like during loading screens and the usual uh, but it seems more stable or more solid than LD for me um, the setup is a bit tricky so that's why I'm gonna make a video about this um, so let's just get into it, what you wanna do is to go to this website here mumu.163.com and you will be presented with this uh, here, uh, you can obviously translate it or, or not, uh, there's two versions of it uh, this one here, it's only to their like interface. I think it's like a store interface, kind of like Google Play, I guess, where you can choose games and download it from their own like place, I guess. Uh, what you want is this one, the blue one. Uh, when you will download that, you're going to find a installer, and when you install that, you're gonna double click, and we'll see if that works now that I'm actually running the emulator. Let's just have a look, and there it is. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> here it's important that you. Um, Click this little thing here, so you can see the location of the install. Um, everything's going to be in Chinese, by the way. We're going to fix that soon, because uh, you you will want to remember this, because that's how you change the language later after it's installed. So once you've accepted all these things here, uh, we can actually just see what everything means here, just so I don't tell you just to click things randomly. And uh, here's a weird stuff. Let's see here. Uh, okay, that's like at, at the start menu. I suppose that would be the shortcut. That's accepting terms so used that we never read, anyways. And that would be installing something that's needed, I believe. Uh, so yeah, that's the things you're clicking. There's no like sneaky, you know, installing some other shit program as well, like McAfee or something. I hate those. Um, so, anyways, when you have installed the thing, uh, you want to um, navigate to the install directory. That would be here. Going inside, like so, emulator shell, and then it would be language. And you're going to find this file here. I made a copy of the original, so we're just going to open this, and it will look like this. Um, lots of stuff in here. Uh, what you want to do is that you want to delete everything, so it looks like this instead. So I'm just going to show you. You have enus here, so you would just like take all this, remove this, and also remove this, and then it's going to just load with the English uh, interface instead. And um, that's what you uh, want to do there. And then it would be all in English. Um, when you got inside, uh, it will look like this. Uh, actually, it will not look like this. We're going to go through that too. Um, it will look like um, everything is going to be in Chinese in here as well. Not the menus though. Uh, let's get the shortcut. There we go. Um, but because uh, you, you have some options up here, that's going to be in Chinese if you don't do the first thing we changed. Uh, after that, you uh, you want to go into settings, like this, and then you want to find this little thing here. Uh, everything is going to be in Chinese here, by the way. That's why I'm just referring to the icons instead. Uh, so you want to go to the globe here, go in here, and then language, that's the top one, and then you just click that and find the English one instead of the Chinese. And um, there is that. Um, Let's take a look at the options. Uh, this is obviously always on top settings. Uh, you have a memory cleaner too, pretty cool, I guess. Uh, make it run smoother or something. I haven't really noticed any difference, but it's nice to have anyways. Uh, there's also like, you can have an account. The problem with account and, and your like you login thing is that you need a, I believe a Chinese phone or something. Uh, I don't think this works with, um, with uh, non-Chinese users. It's linked to QQ, that's like their messenger equivalent. Um, going into the settings, uh, boss key, what that does is that it will like hide the whole thing. So if we actually enable that alt setter, uh, so I go like that, it's like gone from my computer. If you want to be sneaky and play in school or wherever you probably shouldn't, but you know, uh, I never find a use for that though. Uh, I just got <coughs> curious what it was and that's what that does. Uh, there's some disk cleanup here, I believe that's the same thing there. You can obviously uh, load some APKs, uh, key root switch, I don't know. I've never used or had the need to do that. I guess there's only for the naughty ones <laughs> that want to do stuff that you shouldn't. 
Um, here's this. This is the fastest and best one. Uh, however, if you are having trouble, you should go with this one. Then there's these settings here. I have no idea. Like I just put it on high and, and run it. Maybe that's too much. Maybe I should go lower. I have no idea. Um, I just put it on high. Uh, this thing here as well, probably something you want to turn off if you don't have a strong computer um, or having issues. There's that. UI settings here, I just got the usual resolution here. You obviously have some other options here too. And then we have the brightness. You can change the brightness too. I just keep it on the normal. This is a pretty cool option, by the way, The this one. So you can actually change the, um, the uh, style or, or you know, uh, this makes it really like cartoonish. Then you have the sharp one and then you have like a realistic one. That's a mellow. Yeah, easy eye, that's like those where it's like, um, it's that blue light protection thing. So I guess those two are the only relevant ones, I suppose. Um, here I, I just have the options like this. Uh, Alt T is the option to change and hide this little toolbar down here. So that's what I'm using. Um, I also choose to show the FPS because why not? And uh, this one here um, will not limit it to 60. I don't know what this does actually. Like because I have there, there's some other options down here. Uh, sorry. There it is, right. So I just put the 120 FPS, so I can get up to that, yeah. You can't break through 120, sadly. Uh, LD player can, but here it's all based on the emulated phone model that it's based on or whatever, so uh, that's too bad. Um, no idea what this does either. Uh, what else do we have? Ah, teams here. You see I have this uh, lovely picture that I usually use. Um, what you, In order to get that, you need to go back into the install folder. And let's see, where was that again? Um, hmm. Is it in emulator shell? I think it was emulator shell. Hmm. Let's see here. Nope. I'm just clicking random stuff to see if I find something. Or was it maybe in here? No, definitely not in there. Is it in here? No. Device, maybe. Hmm. Nope. It's definitely in the emulator shell. Um, let's just have a look at all of these. Ah, here it is. Products. Yeah, you want to go into products, then theme, and you see all these folders here. That's the one I made. I just saw that they're numbered here, so I just figured I'd like keep the format kind of, and I saw that uh, uh, 11 was free, so I just made 11, uh, a folder like that, and then just put the picture in here. It's important that it's in, in uh, PNG format, by the way. Then you just restart, and then it will be like this. Uh, as you can see, if we look at the others, they have uh, a thumbnail as well. Uh, so I suppose um, I could actually do that so we can get the thumbnail too. Uh, thumbnail there. And then it's just going to read right off that. So let's see if that works. I think I need to restart for that to work, but uh, yeah, probably. Anyways, so there's how to change the background picture as well. Um, other than that, yeah, let's just get in here. Uh, one thing that I wanted to say, and now I'm pressing Alt T by the way to hide this. You have the sound down here. And uh, you can, of course, uh, mute that by pressing Control M, like you see here, Control M, and that's going to put it back to uh, between those two values that you have, like whatever you put the latest, right, or, or last time. So there's that. Um, there's, of course, the usual options here. Uh, you can just figure it out yourselves, I guess, and just have a look. In, uh, oh, yeah, here's the key mapping, of course. Uh, let me actually show you that too. Now the game doesn't want to start. Why does it not want to start? Let's see here. Oh, one little thing that I've actually had an issue with this week is that the controller, um, if you're restarting the game and you have your controller plugged in, uh, it's not going to work for you. You need to plug in the controller after you're in the game, uh, otherwise the controller will not work for you. Um, I learned the hard way a couple of times, <laughs> so I was like in the region I couldn't move. Um, it, it happens really fast though, but still, uh, boot the game first, then uh, play the controller. There's that. Here's my key mappings, uh, looking like this. Um, I'm just going to make it full screen. Uh, let's see here. Just make it full screen so you can see. Um, kind of get an idea. Actually, yeah, let's, let's get into the guild. Uh, Thing. So we get the UI as well, so you can just see how the positions of things, if you want to take a screenshot or whatever, and you and base your own on that. <clears throat> Let's see. There we go. Okay, it's making it small. Whatever. But yeah, so you see here, I just made um, things like that, yeah. Uh, and this works fine. 
for me. That's the extra skills, of course, and that's the. Uh, I put that one a little bit down so I can do the uh, awakening faster by just right clicking when you're confirming. Um, so that's the reason why it's a bit down there. And uh, that's that for the. Uh, let's plug the controller in actually. Uh, there we go. And does it work? Yeah, of course it does. And that's the controller. So what you see here, I just made this circle here, touch all the edges here and put it as centered as I could. And uh, there's also, I believe, an option here for the dead zone or whatever it's called. I put it to 5% and it works fine for me. I don't think zero is a super good idea because then if the, con if the joystick is a little bit like, you know, um, when you release the joystick, it might be a little bit tilted to any of the sides, right? And then it could like... Uh, start moving your character without you wanting it. So that depends on your controller and and the uh, and the state it's in. Basically, if you have like a really old, broken a bit controller, you know, that's then that dead zone would probably want to be a little bit more than five percent, uh, all the way up to twenty, I guess. But you can just fiddle with that. Don't go too high though, because that's like doesn't make sense. Um, here's for the chain, of course. I, I as you know, I, I use the A button to sprint with. I, I attack with X or square if you have a PS controller. Then it's the bumper here for the, uh, the right bumper, the, the first one, L R R1, sorry, on and PS controller. And then it's the other one on the other side for the extra skill, and then I have the trigger for the chain. I just put, I never use the controller for like when I'm in a team like this, but I just put them anyways. And that's for the team skill, if I would ever have that. So yeah, that's the, uh, that's the settings and everything. Uh, so yeah, like I said, it's not a replacement or anything, it's not perfect, it still crashes, sadly, but it certainly is a alternative, that's for sure. Um, so yeah, I hope this would be interesting for you, and uh, yeah, try it out, I guess, and uh, hopefully maybe someday we can get an emulator that actually is flawless, but uh, I wouldn't hold my breath for that. Anyways, thanks, and uh, I'll see you all later.